Australian stereotypes. There are so many of them that are fake because not everyone says g'day. The only people I've ever heard say g'day are all the Aussies wearing the Akuba hats, standing there and they're just like, g'day mate. And I'm just like, hi. And then I run away because I'm like a little nervous, you know? So I've searched up the most popular stereotypes about Australia and we're just gonna have a little chat about it. So the first one is Vegemite, but not just Vegemite, Vegemite for breakfast, lunch, and tea. We don't eat Vegemite every second of our life. We do have other food, riding kangaroos to school. Yeah, I'll be there soon, Wally. Just gonna go fuel up my kangaroo to get to school on time, yeah. Do you really think that's how we get to school? No, honey. We catch buses, cars, planes, trains. I don't know about planes. Boats. Mm, I don't know if anyone catches a boat either. But honestly, you probably have more chance of riding a freaking crocodile to school than a kangaroo. Actually, I don't think so. Australia is one big desert. The most iconic photo of Australia, well, I reckon it's the most iconic photo, is the friggin' photo of Bondi swimming pool going onto the beach. Does that make sense? Let me just put a photo right here. That is like the most iconic photo. But don't get me wrong, most of Australia is a desert, like the whole middle is like a desert, but we have some of the best beaches in the whole freaking world. Every Australian in this country and their mum will agree that this is the most annoyingest thing anybody will say. Let's chuck a shrimp on the barbie. First of all, a shrimp? What's a shrimp? We call them prawns, honey. And secondly, I've never heard anybody in my entire life say, let's chuck a shrimp on the barbie. Nobody says that, okay? You just get fed and you eat the prawn and you don't talk about how it was cooked. It's always boiling hot here. So don't get me wrong, it is hot in summer. Like you will not even be able to sit on your seat without getting up and like your thighs being stuck to the seat because it's just sweat. As yuck as that sounds, it's freaking true. And your school uniforms when you go to wear like your berets, formal top thing and you get like the mad sweat patches. Not fun, but Welcome to Australia. It's winter right now, like the second month of winter, and it is cold, let me tell you. It took a while to get cold, and nobody's ready for it. Everyone's still got all their summer clothes out, and as soon as the winter comes, everyone's like, oh my god, we need to go shopping and get some warm stuff. Everybody is fit and tan. Honey, I look like a white cockatoo. And trust me, not everybody is fit, especially not myself. Nobody's gonna get up at 6 a.m. and go for a run to beat the heat of summer, and nobody wants to do anything in winter because it's too cold. There you go, not everybody's fit and not everyone's tanned. Australians drive on the wrong side of the road. No, honey, you do. We drive on the left side of the road, which is the right side of the road, and you drive on the wrong side of the road, which is the right side of the road. I think I just stuffed that up. Australians live for meat pies. I guess this one is kind of true, especially party pies. You cannot have a party without party pies. If you didn't have a party pie, are you even Australian? No, you're not. Although you have to find a good pie. If you go to a bakery and you just get a fresh pie, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. Just chuck some tomato sauce on it and oh my God. This next one is like the biggest joke ever. Like what the frick? Crocodile wrestling. Dude, do you really think I'm just gonna go out there and jump on a wild crocodile? I wouldn't even be able to beat a friggin' bunny rabbit in a fight. Just because Steve Irwin did it, he was professional and that doesn't mean every single Australian has to wrestle a crocodile. Like. Do you want us all to die? Okay, this next one's not really a stereotype. It's more like a conspiracy theory. Australia just doesn't exist. And apparently we're all just paid actors. First of all, I can't act for crap. Second of all, I'm not getting any money out of it. So it's obviously fake. And third of all, I'm literally standing in my room in Australia right now. So it exists. Thank you for watching my dudes. Here are my shout outs of the video. Thank you so much for supporting me. I love you so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Run that video like a track meet. Mm. Give me the pack and I might take that. She got a fatty, I might take that. Give me your ID, we pull it into your pattern, and we gon' put it to rest with a quick clap.